We are three scientists at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography uh, that have come together to work on an important problem with uh, global connections and regional implications. Art Miller is uh, a climate and ocean scientist, uh, a climate uh, ocean modeler. Yeah, I'm a, a physical oceanographer who likes to work on a couple of climate problems and also talk to the biologists. And my main expertise is in uh, modeling. Sasha, on the other hand, is more of a statistician using data to look at atmospheric issues. And you all know what a statistician is. It's somebody who doesn't have enough personality to become an accountant. But uh, putting that aside, uh, I like to work on many different things, uh, climate related, but I'm mostly in the atmosphere. Um, Diego Macias Moy is visiting us from uh, Cadiz, from Spain, and he's a biological oceanographer. Yeah, I do most my research on dynamic of uh, the ocean, and now I'm trying to work with these people in problems with uh, related uh, coastal dynamic of, uh, of the ocean and uh, long scale. Uh, climatic issues. And we kind of sketched the, the whole California coast here with the Pacific Ocean next to it to give you a little perspective on what we're interested in. Yeah. There's a lot of things going on here. There's the clouds associated with the marine layer over the coast. There's currents in the ocean that bring um, nutrient-rich waters to the surface and drive uh, the marine ecosystem here. And there's really interesting issues about how this system will change in the future and how that will impact the economy both in terms of fisheries production as, as well as in energy usage along the coast. And yeah. Sasha is going to explain something about that. I would actually also say how it will uh, affect health because uh, uh, we know from a uh, recent uh, study that uh, heat waves are uh, increasing in frequency, intensity, spatial extent and duration and most importantly they're becoming more humid uh, in California and the reason for that is a warming of the coast of Baja California, which looks puny on this graph, but actually it's much longer in reality. Uh, and when heat wave circulation set in, uh, they, they bring uh, air from, from this region into California. The warming of this region, which is actually the outflow region of the California current, uh, creates the situation that heat waves are, that, that the air, uh, the hot air, uh, that causes the heat waves is actually becoming more humid as well. And it's interesting that the humongous and unprecedented heat wave of 2006, which had unprecedented impacts on uh, health in terms of mortality and morbidity, um, most of the people who died lived in the, in the Central Valley, which was very hot. But, but the largest increase in hospitalizations and emergency department visits, uh, morbidity in other words, occurred along the coast. And that's because uh, the marine layer, which normally protects uh, the coastal areas from hot temperatures during heat wave events, um, wasn't there. And people were not acclimatized to the heat uh, that resulted. Um, and actually, this California current, it's a very cold area of the ocean because of the upwelling, which is what, what, what we are going to study here. Uh, and uh, as the land heats up, it causes a um, sea breeze which brings the water that was sitting over the warmer uh, open ocean over the cold California current uh, where it cools and uh, the moisture in it condenses and it uh, causes a slow thick cloud cover along the coast and it is very good for protecting the coastal areas where most people live in California against uh, 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 dangerous effects of, of heat um, and obviously it also affects um, energy demand. Diego do you want to say a couple of so, we are trying to relate it, the dynamic of the coastal of Welling with the climate in the, in the Pacific Basin to try to forecast the, the dynamic of, uh, of the upwelling based on the low frequency signal which are present in the, in the climate index. This way we will be able to forecast uh, in advance what will going to happen with the marine layer and the related issues with the health, with the energy and also with the fisheries in the California region.